everything. And he is truly worthy to be praised. Let everything that have breath praise ye the Lord. I, I, I'm going to say like Freddie Hayes say, mic check, mic check. I said, let everything that had breath praise ye the Lord. Maybe something wrong with the mic. Maybe something wrong with the mic. He is truly worthy to be praised. Give God the glory for this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Praise the Lord. We are certainly glad to be here today. Bless the Lord. The Lord is truly worthy. It's so good but we wanna, to uh, see uh, many of you. Uh, get ready for New Year. We have Christmas service, regular service, Christmas morning. Amen. Come on, open your presents, but come to church first. Amen. And then the Saturday night at 6 o'clock on Christmas, New Year's Eve, we do have church. And we will have church New Year's Day because that's our communion service. Regular service at 9 o'clock on New Year's Day. So we got church Saturday night and we got church Sunday morning. Amen. I think we Say got Matthew's chapter 1. Verses 18 to 25. Matthews chapter 1, verse 18 to 25. Amen.
I, I like that. I, I like that. I, 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 I really do. I, I, how many of you are believers up in the head? Conquerors and winners. Amen. I like that. I like that. And praise the Lord. Amen. Gracious Master, we come in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you and we bless you for those who are here today that have come to hear the word of God. It reminds me, Lord, that when Jesus walked in the synagogue and he got the Bible, got the Torah, and read the word, and he sat down, and the Bible said all eyes was on him. And then he stood up and started to teach the word. We ask you for that same spirit, my heavenly Father, that the Lord would work in me and through us. We pray for the word this morning, Lord. We pray for the word this morning, Lord. Help us, Lord Jesus. We all believe us, my heavenly Father, because we believe in the word, Lord. What the word says, Lord, is what we believe, Lord, because it's your word, my heavenly Father, that was inspired by you, Lord, for men the right, my heavenly Father. Lord, we pray for those who had a desire to be here this morning, but just couldn't make it, my heavenly Father. Sickness set, it shut, set in, Lord, and maybe something else for some other reason, Lord. But they really, really wanted to be here this morning. So, Lord, speak to their hearts and encourage them, Lord. And when they get a chance, Lord, that they can listen to the word, Lord. We pray for that in the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody under the sound of my voice, bless them right now. 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 Bless them right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Bless them right now, right now, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. St. Matthew's chapter 1, verse 18. And now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When as his mother Mary was exposed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Mm, mm, mm. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. Mm, mm, mm. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto Mary the wife, thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, that, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin. Now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of, of, the, of, of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is being interpreted. God is with us. And then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him and took him his wife and knew her not until she had brought forth her firstborn son. And he called his name Jesus. Did the church say amen? amen. They called him Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Just when you say his name, the Holy Ghost falls on you. It, 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 it feels like a fire that has been shut up in your bones because of the name of Jesus. I'm telling you there is power in 
the name of Jesus. Something happens when you say the name of Jesus. And when you mean Jesus for who he is, something's got to happen when you say the name of Jesus. There, that's, it's real, y'all. And I don't know how many of you tried it and how many of you made it work, but there is power in the name of Jesus. There is healing power. There is healing power. There is deliverance power in the name of Jesus. Amen? It didn't go the way it should have went, but yet and still it worked out. When you read the story of how he was born, the Bible clearly makes he, he introduces this way. He said his birth was on this wise. This is how it happened. And it sounded to me like it was a mess. But out of the mess came the messenger. Amen, somebody? How many of us know that you can be blessed out of your mess? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 and, and, and how many of us understand that God worked in mysterious ways? Uh, someone say his wonders is to be, huh, I forgot the last word of it, but he works in mysterious ways ways. Help me somebody. And Jesus' birth was of mysterious ways. Can, can, can I go back? What's on you? Uh, 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 it, 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 verse 22 says, now all of this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, which is the prophet Isaiah, the prophet Elijah. Can I, can I go back? What's on you? What, what, what happened was he, here the king Ahaz Amen. Was caught up against the war, finding that the king of Syria and the king of Israel had come up against Judah. And King Ahaz was afraid, and he called upon the king of Assyria to help him. That's a little background, a little bit, a little bit of background, Sister Sims, and, and, and they call on King Reza to come and rescue him from the king of Israel and the king of Syria. Amen. And it's strange that he called upon the king of Assyria. Amen. To come and aid him. And that is the same man that ran over Judah and conquered all of them and brought them into slavery. Not Nebuchadnezzar, but first the king of Assyria. He was caught up. He was afraid. He was about to be be run over because two kings had came to destroy them. And he decided to call on another king. And, and the prophet walked into the room and said, no, this is not what is the way it's going to be. He said, king, you are dependent on man more than you are dependent on God. He said, why you didn't call on God? Amen, somebody? King, he has refused. He said, I, I'm not going to test God. I'll test man, but I will not test God. And the prophet looked at him and said these words, is it anything too hard for God? Amen, somebody? In other words, he thought more of man than of God. And I stop by to tell you that we need to stop depending on man and woman and start depending on God. Somebody help me here? All Margaret Orr can do is tell you where the storm is. But God can control the storm. Now, I just, I'm going to say like Pastor Hayden, I just dropped a shout bomb on you and you didn't catch it. Somebody going to help me here? All Chris Franklin can do is tell you how bad it's going to be, if it's going to be that bad. But God can control whatever happened. Somebody help me here? That storm could have done more, help me somebody, more damage than it did. Hallelujah, somebody. But somebody going to help me up and say, but God. I drop you another shout bomb in here. You didn't catch it, but God. You ought to shout on the fact, but God. That word but, when it says but, that means it been turned around. When the devil make it go this way, but God turns it around. When the doctor says it's going that way, but God will turn it around. When, 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 when trouble come your way, 
Somebody help me here. Going that way, but God. God will turn it around. I'm telling you right now. He's turning around for you right now. Somebody help me here. Y'all ain't praying with me. You, don't, you haven't got it yet. Hallelujah, somebody. But God. And listen what the prophet says. Not only is it anything in, in, uh, too hard for God, he said, let me tell you something he has. He said, there will be a sign. Somebody help me here. And the sign is, a child shall be born of a virgin. Somebody help me here. Don't miss that point now. How in the world can a child be born of a virgin? That, that ought to be your first shot. God can do anything. God can do anything. Is there anything too hard for God? Somebody go help me. I'm about to, I feel like, I feel like shouting right now. Hallelujah. How can a virgin be, 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 be found with a child? Somebody help me here. That's what the prophet says. And, and the prophet prophesied that it shall be done. And he said, that child will save his people. Now, that was a long time ago. Somebody help me here. And, and, and I, can, can I make you shout here? Uh, 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 God says that, 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 that the prophet says, and he shall save his people. But here come Assyria destroying the nation. The nation came back together. Here come Nebuchadnezzar came and destroyed the nation. Somebody help me. The nation came back together. Here come this so-called Hitler trying to kill six million Jews. Help me somebody. And he shall save his people. Can I give you a shout right now? No matter what you're going through, it already has been pronounced. I stop by to tell you that God has already delivered you. Help me somebody. You ought to stand and cry and shout in the victory because God already gave you the victory. He prophesied and he shall save his people. He's prophesying on you right now that God will heal you. You ought to shout right. I don't know when he gonna come but somebody told me he's always I want to talk to some real people up in here who thought they was going to die, but they still alive today. I want to talk to some people who got a testimony, can say I should have been dead, I could have been dead, it should have been me, but God. Turn it around, turn it around, he's turning it around, he's turning around, he's turning, the tide is turning my way. She was engaged to Joseph. And I want you to understand in the Jewish time, when you get engaged, you stay engaged for 10 to 12 months. And then you go and get your wife and bring her home. Somebody help me here. Joseph found his wife, was pregnant with a child, even when he was just engaged to her. And I want to tell you something. We don't take engagement as serious as they did. Somebody help me here. Watch what the Bible says. She was espoused to Joseph. But as soon as he get in the next verse, he said, and his wife. Wait a minute. Something wrong there. I thought you said they were engaged. But then again, again, you said his wife. The minute she was in promise to him. Somebody help me here. That was his wife. Somebody help me here. I, I, we don't take it serious enough. Help me somebody. Well, can, can I be messy here? Uh, if you're going to live with her, and if you're going to shack up with him, that's your wife. That's your husband. You ought to consummate the marriage. You ought to finish the thing because God has made it possible to put that woman and that man in your life. Oh, y'all don't like me here. But I got to tell the truth. And another thing, if I, look, look, let me mess with these shack up people. Help me out. You, 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 if you're going to shack up, you need to be faithful in your shacking up. Because if you ain't faithful, then you're an adulterer. 
you're an adulteress. You cheated. Even in your shacking up, because right there the Bible said that was his wife. Preacher, something wrong with this picture. She's supposed to be a virgin, but she's pregnant. Somebody help me here. And the Bible says, and, 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 and watch how God works in our lives. The Bible says Joseph was a just man. He was a good man. He was a tender man. He was a faithful man. Hallelujah, somebody. God will give you somebody in your life. Woman or man, that's a good man. That's a good woman. That's a faithful woman. Somebody help me here. Ain't God all right? And it's not her, but it's the God in her. It's not him, but it's the God in him. Somebody help me here. And, 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 and you ought to tell God sometime, God, you gave me this man. You ought to be like Adam. Adam, you gave, Adam told God, you gave me this woman. Somebody help me here. I tell him all the time, amen. Y'all missed that shout bump. Y'all didn't catch that. It went right by your head. You gave me this woman. You gave me this man. Help me somebody. God gave Mary a just man, a faithful man. And daughter, he did it for a reason. Help me somebody. Because this man had to swallow a lot of stuff. His wife supposed to be a virgin. His wife is pregnant, and he had not touched her yet. This man had to put up with a lot. God chose him. God knows what he's doing. God will put the right people in the right place at the right time. If I ain't preaching to y'all, I'm preaching to myself. If y'all ain't happy, I'm going to be happy all by myself. Thank you, Lord, for making me a right man. Thank you, Lord, for making me a good woman. Thank you, Lord, for making me be faithful to my relationship. Somebody help me here. I know we all sin, but please, sir, please, ma'am, if you're going to sin in your marriage, sin, I'd rather you sin with your eyes and not with your body. Even if the Bible says you already sin. Prophecy. The circumstances of his birth. Help me somebody. And Joseph took his wife, and he was going to put her away because the Bible gave the man the right. Help me somebody to give to make the divorce happen. Go back and study the law of Moses. Help me somebody. And who gave Moses the law? God did. So God, you want, don't get mad at me. God, get, get angry with God. God says the man had the right to divorce his wife. Somebody help me here. Whether he's right or she's right, she's wrong. And whether he's wrong, but he had the right to do the divorce. Amen. And let me tell you how strict those people brother was, Brother Miles, in that time. They said in Egypt, when you commit adultery, they said they would cut her nose off. You missed that. They said they would cut her nose off. In Syria, they would cut off her nose and her mouth. I think I got that right. But in Israel, they would stone her to death. Somebody help me here? Come out, but God. Somebody say something, but God. When they brought that woman to Jesus, they brought a woman that was caught in adultery. Somebody help me here. Ain't said nothing about the man. When the woman at the well, they called her an adulterous woman because she had five husbands and she was shacking up with another one that wasn't even her husband, it's somebody else's husband. It was the woman's fault. Somebody help me here. Ain't God all right? Somebody help me up in there. Can I be messy up in here? When, 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 watch what happens when somewhere a woman did something and listen to what the man of God said, see this woman. And I say this to say this to Sermon. The fact is, they didn't see the woman. Somebody help me here. They just, they just, and the same thing happened today. The laws that being passed in America, they don't see the woman. All they see is power. 
and money. Hallelujah. Whoever sleeps with a prostitute don't see the woman. All he see is himself. Somebody help me here. They don't care about nothing about the woman. And all Jesus says, I come to change this thing. You gonna look at the woman. Somebody help me here. You gonna look at the leper. You're going to look at the blind man. You're going to look at the poor and the disenfranchised. That's what Jesus was saying. What would Jesus do? Jesus would see about those people who, who nobody cares about. Sister Glory, they didn't see the woman. All they saw a virgin was pregnant. Somebody help me here. So Joseph said, I'm going to put her away. I got to figure I'm taking too long. Uh, Joseph said, I'm going to put her away, but out of respect for her. Can I make it? Look, y'all going to be patient with me. Help me somebody. Not only did he respect her, but he loved Mary. Help me somebody. He said, because I respect her and I love her, I'm not going to make a public example of her. The, he had the right to make an example of her. But he said to himself, I'm not going to do that because I respect her and I love her, but I'm going to put her away anyway. You missed that. I love her, but she got to go. Somebody, Y'all missed that. Hallelujah. I love her, so I'm going to kill her. I love her, but I'm going to physically abuse her. I'm doing it because y'all got quiet on me. I'm talking about social issues that's going on right now. How can a man kill a woman and say he love her? Example, come on, y'all. I think I, I don't care what y'all say. I'm preaching up in this place. Amen, somebody. Uh, but the Bible, but somebody say, but God again. God stepped in and an angel appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, take her to your wife. And Joseph, not only did he say take her, but he told him why. Because she is still innocent. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm about to go above your head now. How can she be innocent if she's a virgin that's pregnant? I'm glad you asked that question. Amen, somebody? Whatever God does is all innocent. That's why he called a just God. The, the angel said, Joseph, let me explain to you. It's the Holy Ghost that came upon her. Help me, somebody. He came on her. Help me, y'all. And he put something in her that's holy and special and pure. And help me, somebody. And if he put something pure in her, that means she's still pure. Y'all missed that. I, I, I got technical on you. I got theological on you. I, I, I'm, I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again. The Holy Ghost was perfect. And it's the Holy Ghost that put something in her. Amen. And let me tell you something. God can do you without ever even touching you. You miss your shout again. God can heal you without ever touching you. Some, can I, can I come, come here, witness. Help me somebody. He spoke to the wind. He didn't touch the wind. He spoke to the wind. He didn't touch the wave, but he spoke to the wave, and they obeyed him. Don't tell me God can't do something for you without touching. I got to move on. Y'all missing your shout bum all the way through. You missing it all. You missing it all. But I stopped by to tell you that she was still innocent. And, and I got I to gotta close. I got to close. I got I to gotta close with this point. Us men, listen to me now. And Joseph took her to his wife. That's what King James Version says. But there is another version that says he took her by his side. Y'all didn't get that? Okay. Let, let me see if I can help y'all on this side. He took her by his side. He didn't put her in the back. He didn't put her in the front. But he put her by his side. Can, can I be messy? If he put her in the back, he just gonna walk all over her. Amen, somebody. And if he put her in the front, she gonna walk all over him. I, I'm gone. Y'all don't want to talk back to me. She should not be 
be in the front of him, neither should she be behind him, but she should be beside him. God called her a helpmate, a help meet. Help me, somebody. That's the way the Lord wanted it. That's the way Joseph did. He took his wife and put her by his side. Help me, somebody. And then the angel said, I ain't finished with you, Joseph. He said, that which she have, help me, somebody, shall be born and he shall die for our sin. He's not going to die in your sin. Help me, y'all. But he going to die for your sin. Ain't God all right? Help me, somebody. As I come to a close, the Bible says, and you shall call him Jesus, which is the interpretation of Joshua, a deliverer, a fighter, a warrior, a defender. And he all right, you shall call his name Jesus. Hallelujah, somebody. Jesus is his name. There is power in the name of Jesus. Jesus, the almighty one. Jesus, my alpha and my omega. Jesus, my advocate. Jesus, the author and the purpose, the, the perfecter of my faith. Jesus, the son of God. Jesus, the bridegroom. Jesus, the chief cornerstone. Jesus, the deliverer. Jesus, the healer. Jesus, my mama. Jesus, my daddy. Jesus, the good shepherd. Jesus, the high priest. And he all right, the head of the church, the holy servant, the I am that I am. That's who he is. Jesus, he died. Didn't he die? Hallelujah, somebody. Jesus, who took a stick and some nails and made it across. Jesus, who took a broad tomb and came on the third day with all power. 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 Bless you. Brother Matthew, you asked the question, what is it about John that's so significant about him? He preached truth to power. Amen, somebody. And that's what Jesus did. He preached truth to power. Told Herod, you don't have no power over me, but that which was given to you. He told Herod, don't you know I could call legions of angels and they would come and fight for me? Ain't God all right? And I stopped by to tell you right now that that same Jesus, that same Jesus, Mary's baby boy, that same Jesus who died on the cross, that same Jesus who rose on the third day, that same Jesus who sits on the right-hand side of God is looking out for you today. He can save you, not in your sin, but from your sin. He can save you, and he can save you today.